This project is about methanol production from Indian coal, a pilot plant demonstration, catalysis and scale-up technologies. So in India is, has abundant coal reserves and uh, we are also an energy starved nation. We need energy for uh, development and it turns out that we are always in the need for liquid transportation fuels. So in that context, this project takes shape. Uh, with a declaration from the Honorable Prime Minister for gasifying uh, Indian coal, which is traditionally high ash. So the challenge here is to convert Indian coal, which, is, which has a high ash content, and convert it into a gas called synthesis gas, which is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, along with some other gases, and which is then converted in a catalytic route, that means using a catalyst, into a fuel called methanol. Now, methanol uh, has already be is already made uh, for various other petrochemical applications but the challenge here is to make large quantities which can be used for fuel applications methanol uh, is a very good blending agent for petrol as well as its derivatives other molecules that can be made out of methanol namely dimethyl ether is a very good derivative for diesel as well as natural gas application so this is a small model of the pilot plant that uh, you know, together uh, with the work from IIT Delhi and with Thermax, is coming up in the Thermax uh, R&D facilities in Pune. So what you see here are three major islands that are part of our current project. One is the gasification island, followed by the gas cleanup island and the methanol island. So I'll just describe them brief as to what, what each is about. So the gasification island is essentially a place where uh, we store the coal, which is, as I indicated, is a high ash Indian coal. And this comes through a coal feed hopper system into the gasifier. So what you see here with the red light is essentially where the main gasification reactions happen. Of course, there is a certain degree of partial uh, oxidation reactions also, as well as the steam that is coming in from the bottom of this gasifier, along with a certain quantity of oxygen, is uh, undergoes uh, in a chemical reaction, reacts with the coal, and you produce synthesis gas. And the synthesis gas then goes out of the of the top of this gas fire and there is a uh, system of equipment called cyclones which separate the fine particles uh, so the coal uh, gets uh, reacts along with the oxygen and the uh, steam in this gas fire and what comes out of the top is synthesis gas carbon monoxide and hydrogen along with some other gases as well as fine particulates which we call fly ash some of the particles are recovered in these uh, cyclones uh, these are devices which separate the gas and the solids. The solids get recycled back into the fluidized bed and continue to react further to remove, uh, to react more of the carbon that is left in the coal. But the synthesis gas then goes through a certain set of other vessels in which the fine particles are separated uh, called candle filters and then move on to the back of this which is the gas cleanup island. The gas cleanup island we have a series of towers which actually stage-wise clean different components or different poisons that are present in the gas. And uh, some of these things have been developed indigenously. Uh, some gas absorption steps happen. And then after that entire process is over, the synthesis gas then flows into the methanol island, which you see in the far end of this, of this model. And in the methanol island, uh, uh, the first thing is this clean gas it is pressurized from about 2 bar pressure to around 80 bar pressure, so it becomes really high pressure. And this, pre this compressor has also been developed indigenously by one of our partners. And eventually, uh, this uh, synthesis gas flows into the methanol reactor, which is what is called a packed bed. So it's, it's, a, it's a tall tower with a lot of fine catalyst particles. The synthesis gas comes in at high pressure and uh, then reacts uh, in the presence of this catalyst and on the other side, we end up getting uh, getting methanol along with some of the remnant uh, components of the synthesis gas, the feed feed stream. These are further cleaned or what is called distilled in these tall towers, and then finally it goes into methanol storage. So this is the pilot plant as it being conceived, and what is actually coming up uh, as we speak. In fact, it's already in the process of commissioning in the Thermax facilities. We expect that. Uh, with five faculty members at IIT Delhi and the entire team at Thermax working on it along with PhD students, postdoctoral uh, students at IIT Delhi. We put together this large team. It is of course a major effort in developing this entire technology platform in the interest of the country but also uh, uh, to develop manpower which provided if India goes in the 
path of using methanol as one of the fuel alternatives, it is going to be absolutely essential that this entire team comes together and works on uh, uh, this very crucial technology of relevance. When we gasify the coal, uh, it does not only produce the desired H2 and CO, but it produces a wide variety of other species as well. Um, and what my lab does is uh, work on how to reduce these species or contaminants. One such reactor setup that we have developed here uh, in the lab, this is a high pressure fixed bed reactor and uh, this has been designed to study the water gas shift reaction and uh, the COS hydrolysis reaction. So at the end of this, what is it that we want to achieve? Well, uh, first we want to demonstrate indigenous technology for converting coal to methanol. That's, that's of course target number one. We want to show that we can actually successfully do it at a reasonable scale. So at, the, this, at this point, we start with about four to five tons per day of coal and end up with about one ton per day of methanol. Uh, we also want to create a blueprint for a larger scale process. So our goal at the end of this pro project is to create a blueprint for a 300 ton per day coal to methanol plant which is based on indigenous coal and really no technology of this kind exists. Uh, there are technologies for coal to methanol around the world but they are not dedicated to Indian coal. So that is a significant change in what we are trying to put together. And uh, obviously at the end of the day, uh, you know, if we hope that there is sufficient interest, uh, in fact we are aware that there is sufficient interest in government circles. Niti Aayog is a strong uh, uh, supporter of this project. In fact, Honourable Member uh, Dr. V.K. Saraswath has been the major source of inspiration for the entire team to go ahead with this work. And indeed, not only IIT Delhi and Thermax, but various other partners who are delivering components of this project are also involved in this effort. So in some sense, this is, this is evolving to becoming, becoming a nationwide effort. Multiple parties are involved in actually delivering this technology. And indeed, we have other partners and other institutions around the country who are also participating and their expertise is also coming together. Primarily it is IIT Delhi and Thermax but other organizations like Bhabha Atomic Research Center are helping us in some part of imaging the reactors. There are other colleagues in, who are uh, helping us in characterizing the coal and so on. So there, are, there, is, there is a whole team which is also helping us in different aspects. And eventually we hope that we'll have, we would have created a technology platform where we would have done good science and which of course we are publishing, patenting and so on as new technologies are being developed or new catalysts are being developed or, or new ways of modeling and simulation and so on so which are leading to publications. So there is an academic interest to the whole project but in addition I think the, the big thing about this group of uh, people, how we put this together is to translate that academic research into a real scale pilot plant. So that is eventually the goal of this process and we hope uh, with the support of the government and also the industry uh, we should be successful in, the, in that endeavor and I must thank uh, uh, Niti Aayog and honor, particularly Honorable Member uh, uh, Dr. V.K. Saraswath who has been completely supportive of this project. In fact, it was his push that originally got us all together. So there's no question that he has been a great supporter. Department of Science and Technology has actually funded this project and uh, on, in a constant way they have been support in, in, in uh, you know, not only funding but also making sure that we get connected with the right people and also talking to other experts and so on. And of course IIT Delhi administration for supporting this project and, and Thermax uh, uh, you know, administration, their board uh, for having faith in this entire project. It's been now going on for about three years or more than three years I would say and uh, you know, we are almost in a very close to commissioning the plant. So we hope that in the next few months, probably in the next quarter, we should be actually be producing uh, methanol as we speak. Uh, the coal uh, gasification plant is already commissioned. We are already on the way of producing synthesis gas. The cleanup island is getting commissioned and we hope that finally the methanol island will get commissioned in the next few weeks. So uh, we hope that by 2022, this actual production should be seen in this uh, coal to methanol uh, pilot plant. And with all the background research that is going on, the patenting portfolio as well as all the publications that are going in and also obviously several PhD theses are being done, papers are being written. So it's, it's truly a synthesis of uh, industry academic collaboration. Mm -hmm.